Hey everyone, Robert Plank here from NewbieCrusher.com and today we're going to show you how to install tracking code onto any WordPress blog. Now what's tracking code? Well, we have a program such as this. We have programs such as Google Analytics where we can actually see who is on our site. We can track our conversion rate, track our balance rate, and what pretty much happens is uh, some of these websites give you some kind of a copy and paste code. They say you put this on your website and we'll be able to track your visitors. So in this case we can actually see who's on our, our websites right now and they'll say, and, and I apologize it's the middle of the night so right now we only have nine visitors. Uh, what's really cool is if you put this on all of your blogs, all of your opt-in pages, your sales letters, all of your websites, your membership sites, you can see who's logged into what sites right now. If you send a mailing, if you get an affiliate to promote, if you run a pitch webinar, many times we'll be uh, running a pitch webinar and have over 100 visitors on our sites at one single point in time. Pretty cool. So we're going to use this tool called Provide Support and we're going to copy this stuff into a WordPress blog and we're going to do it in such a way that is very easy so you don't have to edit any files and if you ever update WordPress or you ever update your theme or you change themes well then this tracking code will remain on your blog sounds amazing sounds incredible but it's true okay so what I'm gonna do is first um, go to doubleagentmarketing.com forward slash provide support you go here and this is a service for ninety nine dollars per year if it will actually allow me to log in just had to clear cookies I'm gonna log into this site called provide support you log in and the first thing you see in the top left is install chat buttons on your website okay install chat buttons and we're gonna click on all types of code and they give us all these options like you can put a picture here uh, a thing saying all kinds of other stuff but we're gonna go over, the, over to the right where we say hidden code for visitor monitoring click on that and now they've given us some code to copy and paste I'll show you one more time we go to double agent marketing slash provide support okay we log in and then we go to all types of code hidden code so all types of code hidden code and they give us this thing to copy and paste and you say great I'm gonna to go to my blog whoops wrong blog too many blogs I think we go to our blog called newbie crusher with a bunch of posts on here and we say well shoot how do I copy that Let me go back here provide support how do I copy that code onto my blog do I have to edit files do I have to make someone told me I need to make a child theme no nothing that complicated whatsoever so we're gonna log into WordPress and what we're gonna do is install a plugin called custom headers and footers after we install this plugin we'll simply have an area to copy and paste this code and because this is a plugin not a theme not a file we edited because this is a plugin then if we update WordPress if we update our theme if we change themes change anything else on the site this footer code will still remain there and it will be easy for us to go there and, and find it and remove it or change it if we ever need to okay so we're in our WordPress dashboard we go to plugins add new and then in the search box type in custom oh, not customer custom header let's just type in that okay so we go into plugins add new and in the search box custom header click on search plugins and the very first one we see is called custom headers and footers right now it's at version 1.2 but we're looking for custom headers and footers by Daniel Fruzinski okay click on install now and it will probably ask us for our login information so let me put that in here and here we go installing successfully installed click activate and now it's been activated so now if we look over on the left side under settings custom headers and footers we can see now that this plugin has been installed and there's different places where we can add in extra meta tags header and footer so what we're going to do is is look at blog footer the very bottom kind of footer okay so all we have to do is in our WordPress dashboard, we went to settings, custom headers and footers, find the blog footer area, and here's what you do. 
go to whatever code you have to copy and paste. Right here I'm using provide support code. If you're copying Google Analytics code, it doesn't matter. What we just do is we're just going to right click in here, do a select all, right click again, do a copy, go back over to blog footer, right click and paste. And that is all there is to it. We just installed the custom header and footer plugin. Uh, once we activated it, went to settings, custom header and footer, and then copied that stuff we wanted to put on the bottom of the page. And now let me show you um, what what is on this page here. Because if you look here, we right click and look at the page source, lots of gobbledygook. But if you look near the bottom, uh, there's our my address, some other links, but we don't really have uh, the tracking code. We're going to click on save settings and if I just refresh this page here and view the page source again, same gobbledygook, but if we look very carefully near the bottom, see now it's added this provide support visitor monitoring code, we just copy and paste it. So this is going to remain at the bottom of the, the web page until we remove it. And if we ever update WordPress, change theme, update theme, uh, the this will not be overwritten because this is in a plugin. And at any time, if you ever want to just turn off the plugin, this will go away. And what's cool is that now that this code has been installed, if we look on our our list here, we can see that now we can view people coming to our site on newbie crusher forward slash blog. Pretty cool, right? We can see how long they've been on there, but all we had to do was just do this to all of our WordPress blogs. Install the custom header and footer plugin, scroll down to blog footer, and then just copy whatever code someone gives us in order to track our visitors. I'm Robert Plank from newbiecrusher.com, and I hope that really helps you to add tracking code to your WordPress blog. Just add a plugin called Custom Header and Footer. It's a free plugin. Go to Settings, Custom Headers and Footers, and then at the bottom where it says Blog Footer, add whatever tracking code whatever your tracking service tells you to copy and paste. Go ahead and do it right now. I'll talk to you later.